few weeks ago, I posted a video about Perplexity AI, and I received lots of questions from you regarding how it compares with ChatGPT Plus, and particularly Perplexity Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna do a more deep dive between the two and help you to pick the one that is best fits for you. Now let's begin with the core features and pricing. For Perplexity AI, it's $20 per month, $200 per year, so you get a little discount if you subscribe yearly. It also has an enterprise plan. As for ChatGPT 4, it's also $20 per month, but no any subscription. And it also has team and enterprise plans to choose from. So the starting investment is lower in perplexity, but I would say it may not be a huge consideration factor if you just rather subscribe on a monthly basis like me. Now for the usage limits. Perplexity Pro is limited to 600 per searches per day, regardless of what AI model you use. So each search or message deducts a credit from a daily limit, and credits are restored 24 hours after their use. As for ChatGPT+, the limit is around 640 messages per day for GPT-4 own model, so it's slightly higher than perplexity. So in this case, I would say ChatGPT has an advantage. Now here comes to the advanced LLM models. For perplexity AI Pro, you can access its own advanced models, Sauna, GPT-4 old, Clock AI models, Opus, but note that for Clock, it has a daily usage limit. As for image generation, you can also choose between different models, including the latest DALI model for from OpenAI. As for ChatGPT+, you can access to all the model family like GPT 3.5, GPT 4, and the latest advanced model GPT 4.0. So I would say perplexity definitely has a huge advantage in this where you can access and switch between different advanced AI models based on your task needs. Now here comes to the support file formats and limits. For perplexity AI, it can support textual files like plain text files, CSV file, PDF, as well as image files like JPEG, PNG. It also supports unlimited file uploads daily. And pro users, you can also leverage advanced models like COG3 and GPT-4 to handle longer files. And for ChatGPT+, it can support much more file formats than Perplexity Pro, which I think is a huge plus. For example, like WorkDAW, PowerPoint format, Excel, and even zip file, and a lot more. So I would say definitely ChatGPT Plus does a better job in terms of supporting different file formats. Now for web browsing, Perplexity Pro has its own online LLM that can access to the internet and these features is turned on by default. In particular, you can ask it to focus on searching Reddit, YouTube, or Webflame research database for the latest information, which is a huge plus. As for ChatGPT Plus, it also has web browsing ability, which is powered by Bing. It is turned on by default, and we will also test the ability in a minute. So I would say Perplexity has more advantage in this. Now here comes to the custom AI prompts and plugins. Perplexity offers customization of AI prompts within collections, which means you need to set up the collections and build your custom prompts. However, it doesn't offer any plugins or extensions like ChatGPT. So in this case, ChatGPT Plus does a better job because you can define your custom prompt only once and it will apply to all your conversations. And also a big bonus is that ChatGPT has a memory features under the personalization that it remembers some of your input detail, which is only available to pro users. As for custom GPTs, you can access to thousands of GPTs to suit your needs. So ChatGPT wins in terms of customization. Now here comes the most exciting part. In order to have the most accurate Apple to Apple comparison, I'm gonna change my perplexity setting to use to ChatGPT4 and DALI by default. So to make sure they use the same model to generate the response with the same prompts. But for some areas, I may also switch to other models based on the tosses. One of the popular comparison areas is the factual accuracy. So let's try a few prompts. First, let's ask it to give me the main provisions of the GDPR in the European Union. Comparing both responses, I would say the response from Perplexity Pro is more accurate. There are total eight data subject rights, but ChatGPT is missing one of them, but still it get most of them accurate and also the seven core GDPR principles. So let's try another prompt. Let's ask it to give me the main difference between a symphony and concerto. I would say both of the responses are accurate and correct with details in the structure, purposes for each. And of course, it also depends on the subject areas that you're asking and it's difficult to cover all the areas in this evaluation. But I would say for most of the popular topics, including including academic ones, both of them can give highly accurate response. And I encourage you to also try them out in your domain areas. 
Though what I like more is how perplexity always includes sources for me to do fast checking in case I'm not the subject matter expert. So I would say both of them can generate accurate responses, but perplexity has the better advantage because it's always a citations for fast checking. Another commonly asked question between the two is how updated the information that they give. So my first prompt here is to ask it to check for the latest information. Let's ask it to give me details about the Taylor Swift Eris tour details and days, and it sounds like an easy one. Now you can see that the answers from Perplexity Pro are more detailed, giving more information about the tour, even revenue, and in fact, more accurate as well, because the first tour day actually starts in March. So for this prompt, ChatGPT is missing a few key tour days. And now let's try another prompt. Now I ask it to give me the top 10 women who rank on the American richest self-made women list by Forbes. And here is the original source. So it's just been updated recently. So you can see that for Perplexity Pro, it gets all the names correct. And it's amazing to see how updated info it can get. As for ChatGPT, unfortunately, the ranking is not correct. And obviously I can tell the source is used may have been been outdated. Let's try one more prompt. Now I ask it to give me the key takeaways of Roger Federer's latest speech at Dartmouth College earlier in June. And personally, I have watched the full speech so I can tell if their response is accurate and up to date or not. So you can see this time both of them are giving me similar information, but still there is some nuance even though they use the same model. I would say for the ChatGPT Pro response is accurate and it gets the context better. Although the response from Perplexity is not wrong, I like the answer from ChatGPT better. I've also tried to ask Perplexity for when its data is updated for the response, and every time is more reason than ChatGPT for it. And now it's very clear that Perplexity does a better job for getting up-to-date information, particularly if you need to pull information that is happening right now or very recent. For ChatGPT 4, its content is also accurate, but it's not as fresh as Perplexity. And now let's move on to data analysis and visualization. So I have this CSV file containing 1000 data rows and let's ask both of them to analyze the data and plot some charts for me. The first prompt is to make sure it can return the accurate number of data rows and header for me. So both of them are able to return correctly for me, which is great. And now let's ask them to find how many rows that have mentioned the word Excel in one of the columns and present it in a chart format. By the way, the correct number should be 654. So you can see both of them can get it correct, but you can see that for perplexity is not able to generate a chart as I instructed. Even if I use the generated image function, it is completely off. While for ChatGPT, it has no problems in plotting the chart. Now let's make it more complicated and ask it to break down the number of job listings by these five industries that I mentioned. So this time you can see that perplexity completely fails for this program is not even returning the numbers for me and no chart is generated. As for ChatGPT, it delivers the prompt well and follows my instruction, which can save you lots of time in working with Excel data. So you can see it's pretty clear that ChatGPT is definitely better than perplexity in terms of data analysis and visualization. Though caution, sometimes I found for really large data sets contain a few thousand rows, even for ChatGPT Plus, it cannot handle well, so keep that in mind. Now let's move on to text generation. I know this is by far the most used features. Now let's try to ask it to give me an article draft about gym intimidation and how to overcome it. So I will include some key points for it to follow. So since they both use the same model, you can see the response is very similar how to structure the draft, the headings, and even the article title. And some of the sentences are even the same. But if I take a closer look, the generated text from ChatGPT is slightly better. The paragraph matches the heading better. While for Perplexity Pro, some sentences I would say is not quite on point. For example, this one on the, the focusing on oneself, which I think is not quite relevant and accurate. And also what I like more about ChatGPT response is it reads more natural and casual. And you you can also see that from the conclusion paragraph. The one from Perplexity sounds more formal and cold compared with ChatGPT. And now let's ask Perplexity to rewrite it with the clock three office and see if the response will sound better. And so now you can see the draft sounds so much better. It reads more fluent, natural, and some good use of sentence structure. And it also gets the context much better and it is more cohesive, more engaging, which I really like. So overall, I would 
would say if we just purely compare when perplexity is using ChatGPT 4 model, the generated writing is not as good as the native ChatGPT 4. But the thing is, in Perplexity Pro, you can switch to Claw, which is good at content writing. That in this case, Perplexity does a better job. And this is particularly useful if you need to include lots of factual data or statistic in your article that need to reference lots of different web sources, then Perplexity is your choice. Another common issue we all see among AI chatbots is hallucinations. So let's see how they both compare in generated hallucinated response. So now I will ask it to give me information based on non existent says people and subjects. So let's ask it to give me the main themes in the book, The Quantum Paradox by Dr. Emily White. It's all fake. So you can see for Perplexity Pro because it's always based on some sources. So it gives me the most relevant information, but saying there is no results found about the book by such person. And as for ChatGPT Plus, you can see it completely hallucinates the response with much confidence and make up all the information which I think is completely false. Let's try another problem which is a bit ambiguous and see how the response. And let's ask it to give me an answer what did the cow do after it jumped over the moon is actually based on the popular English nursery rhythm. So you can see for Perplexity Pro, it searches for the information and refers me to the song and saying that the action of the cows are not explained in details, which is right, it doesn't hallucinate. As for ChatGPT, it's so funny and creative actually saying that the cow should celebrate the lip, which is hilarious. And I can see the browsing features is not triggered for this prompt. So that's may also why ChatGPT will hallucinate in this response. And now let's move on to image generation because this is definitely another mostly used features. For Perplexity Pro, I found it's quite annoying that whenever you need to generate an image, it needs to complete your search first and then you can click generate image. So currently there's no way to ask it to directly generate an image from the prompt, which is not time efficient to be honest. As for ChatGPT Plus, you can use the daily custom GPT from the custom GPT store and immediately start the chat, which I found is a huge plus if you're just actively using the image generation features. And now the first prompt is to ask it to generate a hyper-realistic photo to be used in a retail estate project sales materials. And you can see for Perplexity Pro, it needs to do the search first, which is a bit annoying. And then let's select photograph as a style. And the image is quite good, very realistic. As for ChatGPT Plus, the quality is also good, which I think both delivered the prompt quite well. But since generating images is so much more efficient in ChatGPT than in Perplexity, I would say ChatGPT still does a better job in this area. And now let's compare how they summarize articles and images. So I have this image about the competitive analysis between Walmart and Best Buy that I generate from SEMrush. And so I can make sure both of them do not easily find similar sources online. And now let's ask it to see if it understands what image is about and give me the summary takeaway with commentary. So you can see that for perplexity, it can grab the data accurately, including the traffic share, organic traffic, backlinks, all matches the data content, which is brilliant. But you can see that the response from ChatGPT is so much better, not just it mentioned the data correctly like perplexity, but the commentary is also well written with specific details and numbers, which I like. And you can tell how it can describe the trend versus perplexity, which is more generic. And I love how it breaks down the commentary for each matrix with a final paragraph as the conclusion. And now let's try to ask it to summarize a long PDF. Again, I try not to give any context to it and see if it can understand the topic and give me key takeaways and indicate the pages. For Perplexity Pro, you can see the summary is very cluttered and does not following the flow of the report. Sometimes it mentions the appendix the content and then it jump back to the section. Although overall it still summarizes the report with the correct context, it is not too organized and hard to follow. So I would say that with response from ChatGPT is better. Although it's generated using the same model, the response is more organized and with more specific details. And I think ChatGPT is smarter in this case where it can identify the main body and appendix sections correctly. And you can see for the appendix, it intentionally be more brief in the key points with them much specific, but this makes the overall summary more clear and to the point. So here's the wrap. 
Obviously, both Perplexity Pro and ChatGPT Plus have their own strength, so there is no obviously the best. If you need to actively do content research and need up-to-date information or even real-time quick factual information, digging into specific sources for extensive searching, and need to have the flexibility to switch to other advanced AI models like Clock 3 models for better text generations with research statistics to back up, then Perplexity Pro is for you. It is slightly cheaper as well with this annual plan, but keep in mind it's not good at creative tasks and data analysis and also for now it has limitation in the file format support and integrations with other tools which limits its use cases. However, if you treasure creativity, needs idea brainstorming and a daily productivity boost like quicker data analysis, then ChatGPT is for you. It has good contextual understanding that is able to generate relatively more human-like and creative responses compared with perplexity. It also has lots of custom GPTs to explore which makes a wide range of use cases possible. And I'm sure you will find one that suits you, but it may take you some time. But the thing is, it tends to hallucinate even though it doesn't have the information about the subject. And the browse with Bing features is also not used in every problem, so it's not good for some highly factual queries. And even so, the sources are not as updated and as much as perplexity. So now tell me, would you prefer Perplexity Pro or ChatGPT Plus? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And lastly, watch my tutorial on using Perplexity AI for content research if you haven't done yet. See you soon.